you, Pradeep, for sharing those uh, initiatives on entrepreneurship. Um, you know, uh, we would like to have every school embrace the elements of entrepreneurship. And, uh, you know, it should be, it's kind of setting up an entrepreneurial mindset. So uh, how do we take entrepreneurship at a mass level to all the schools, irrespective of the locations or socioeconomic categories as well? How do we take it at a mass level? And how, and the second question is around, what kind of incubation opportunities are, could be made available to K-12 students? There are numerous initiatives in the marketplace, but they end at recognition of the students. How do we take it to the next level of mentorship and incubation and making the idea a reality? Yeah, so, hello. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, at the school level, essentially it is about uh, exposing people to, uh, so, you know, A, uh, schools should have uh, some sort of an incubator facility that should be available. Uh, essentially, I'm talking about a space where people can sit and, you know, at their own pace, work on different kind of things. Uh, the second thing is that, you know, let them experiment, let them work on different kind of uh, things which are there. See, unfortunately, what happens is that in our education system, uh, there is too much stress on theory, very little on practical. So, you know, we learn a law, but we don't see that law. Uh, in uh, in actual, we we uh, see we, we read an equation, but we don't see an equation. Okay, so that is the kind of a thing that needs to uh, to start changing. And if people are uh, urged to to just you know work on different kind of projects, you know the kind of things which is there in uh, I'm sure all of you would have watched Three Idiots. Uh, just experiment, just think differently, just just try and uh, do different kind of things. And the moment you start doing that, uh, it is that which triggers off the, the entrepreneurial mindset amongst people. Uh, getting mentors uh, at the school level, I mean, I'm sure I would like to work with various schools. There are people who would be willing to give time, uh, go there, talk to various people and so on. You know, that's something which is uh, available. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's on. Uh, talking about entrepreneurship in schools and answering that question also, adding to it rather, we're a little fortunate because we run both the national and the international curriculum. In the international curriculum, you have a subject called entrepreneurship in the IGCSE. So at any given point of time, our students are running three companies in school. They uh, submit their business plans. They, those plans get approved. They actually set up three companies. They allocate roles to themselves. They go to the accounts manager and take some amount of money, we don't give them too much, but I think we'll raise the l limit as we go along. I think it's about 15, 20,000 rupees. And they're expected to return that money to the accountant at the end of the year with at least 8% interest. And they run these companies right through the year. So every batch runs, so every year you have different products and different companies. That's one thing. Then I think also for schools, we need to also change the way we engage with our children. And foster entrepreneurship, though, as Pradeep said, we have restrictions because uh, in certain curriculums, we have certain other imperatives and therefore this takes a backseat. But I'll give you a quick example. Uh, we were running the GGS MUN a uh, couple of months ago and we had all these students. So I actually made them sit down and say, okay, where are your revenues coming from and uh, what are your expenses? So they actually put it all down on a piece of paper and they told me our revenue can only come from delegate fees. Who are the delegates? Students from other schools. I said, fine. So you put down your expenses, they put it all down. We have to give them notepads, we have to give them pencils, we got them chit blocks, we have to print some flexes, some banner. Okay, these are all our expenses. And I said, to recover these, we don't want profits. How many delegates do you need? Sir, we'll need at least so many. I said, do you have so many schools? What's the average size of the delegate, uh, you know, the strength? And they actually worked it all out, would come back to my office to ask me that, you know, we didn't think of something, can we add it? We have a little bit of contingency money in the budget. 
I said, yeah, sure, go ahead. And they actually finished the event. And it was a 9 lakh event. And they, they worked at about 8 lakh 50. They were just down about 50,000, which I thought was wonderful. And they managed the whole thing themselves. And I think there's a lot of this spirit with our children. I think they just need uh, a platform to be able to work on, which uh, I think Pradeep does a lot of good work in this area. Thank you. So that's an excellent insight on how entrepreneurship can be embedded at a school level. So what is required is a vision and involvement of multiple stakeholders, and magic can really begin to happen. You know, but unfortunately, what will happen is that curriculum, so there will be classroom sessions that will be, you know, it'll, it'll become straight jacketed. The moment you straight jacket is, entrepreneurship is finished. Right. By the way, can I just request if the lights can be, since we are having a discussion, can we have the lights in the hall uh, uh, come up so that we can see the face of... Uh, so, yeah. um, we would like to invite a couple of questions from the audience. Mm -hmm.